That's right. Word got out. Word got out. Uh oh. You into that kind of thing? Oh gosh, it's Larry. Get him. Yes. Hoodlink. Represent. What it do, fools? My name is Betsy, and uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. It's your boy Hoodlink in the house. Sorry, I kind of sounded like Yoda. Maybe I should change her name to Yoda. But anyway, um, I'm gonna hit on over here, or unless, well, I did say that I was going to check every house and see if there was a stable in one of these places. So I'll do that first. And if I can't find a stable in this area, then I will definitely head over to the other area. Where I know that there is a stable. Oh, but before I forget, I did say that I was going to collect some of them stamina mushrooms that were underneath um, Impa's house. And what? I mean, I know you guys are like supposed to be securing the area. Boy, if you don't stop laughing, stop that laughing! Okay, anyway. Time to go collect me some stamina shrooms. I can probably just jump off here, right? There we go. Um, okay. Let's crawl. I don't know, think about it. This lady probably has some pretty bad living conditions if there are mushrooms growing underneath her house. But, either way, I will gladly take these because Lord knows they are useful. And by Lord, I mean Hylia! Hmm. Kind of wonder if there's anything else around here. Um, the camera angle is kind of betraying me at the moment. It's trying to make me walk off the cliff without looking. I wonder if there's anything. Oh! Okay. Might be worth it to go down here. Okay, hold on. This is what I want to mix stamina mushrooms with. Give me that rush room. There we go. We are here to check for a whoa stable. <laughs> I had a feeling he might be able to climb. Oh crap! Hold on. Jump it. Okay, there we go. And Betsy, climbing is hard in the rain. Well, I guess you figured that out the hard way. Betsy over here checking out these sweet apples, but she won't eat one for me. Oh well. All right, let's check out each of these houses, Betsy. There we go, good girl. Whoa, I just got opened up like a boss. Oh, it's this old guy again. Okay, you know what? I'm out. No! Don't you lock me in here! Oh, we got potions, lab. Is Professor Snape gonna be in here? Hey, there. oh no, this is a good shot. We got the good shit in here. Oh! Uh, hold on. Mm. Check the check the perfume. Mm. <sighs> mm. Uh, yeah, get my strap on there. Uh. So, hey baby, how's it going? Yeah. Rolla. Can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Oh, well, you guys are doing bad in business. Well, you know, maybe I can help you out a little bit. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. Yeah, because they're always just running around for no reason or a care in the world. Go figure that shit. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. Oh, I'm looking around, and I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. Especially that smile of yours. But honestly, 
I was over here just talking about waterbenders, and you look just like Cora. I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but girl, you kind of got it going on over there. <laughs> so what are you going to sell me? Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh. Sorry, didn't mean it like that. I'm not going to sell anything, it's not just yet. But let me check some some, some of these merchandise out. See, so you got some nice little fire arrows. Don't know what a water is doing with some fire arrows. So you got some regular arrows. And you see you got that bundle. Girl, you don't got no ice arrows? Wait. Are you with the Fire Nation? You traitor. You're with the Fire Nation, aren't you? Cause you ain't got no ice arrows up in here. But you got fire arrows all up in this right side of your crib. <laughs> Left side of your crib, but I guess it'll be her right side. So, I mean, what's the deal with these fire arrows? You got fire arrows, but you ain't got no ice arrows. Ma? That's right, my good man. Oh yeah, you know. Hey. I had you figure for one heck of an archer, and I'm head over heels for a fine slice of man that can use a bow. Girl, you know what? I apologize about that Fire Nation nonsense that I was sputing before. So how about it? Why not take out that bow and show me something special? Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, wait, you're talking about the arrows. You got it. I like your attitude. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. No problem. Just, where are the goddess statues? Think you're up for the challenge? Okay, okay, I can actually, I have options, people. They gave me options. Thank Hylia. Hmm. You really don't know? Oh gosh, she's gonna dump me now. You really don't know about the goddess statue? It's by the spring in front of Lady Impa's home. I don't know how, I don't know who put it there, but it's been there forever. So are you gonna do it? Sure, girl, man, Psh. Got this. Ma? The thought of a young hug drawing a bow makes my day, hell yeah. All right, I'm definitely getting my dictionary. Arrows of burning heat, hell yeah, let's do this. Um, you ain't gonna come watch? What you gonna do? Read about it on the news? Well, I should probably actually buy some fire arrows. Uh, let me see. So it's 20 rupees for one. 80, yeah, that's a good deal. Well, there's only 20 rupees less technically, but still, 12 in inventory. In inventory. Not wow. inventory. How many are you thinking? I don't have that much money. But I can buy two. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many do I actually have? Fire arrows, 12. I'll take one of these. Oh. No, you don't have to go like, ah. Oh. I mean, you know, we can do that in the bedroom all night. But I will take one of these. That'll be 80 rupees. Here, here you go. <laughs> I like how you shop, girl. I like how you sell. And I'd love for you to show me how much you can sell your body. But anyway, on to this goddess statue. So I'm supposed to light the torch. Oh, yeah, I guess you can paint in the rain. Kind of sucks. But you sure you don't want to, like, go to an inn or something, my boy? Anyway. Uh, got a statue. This it? This a small little thing? No wonder I didn't notice it. Pray. I'll pray, but... What am I supposed to be lighting up? There's no torch here. 
Does she want me to light up her bib? Oh, wait, these things. <laughs> okay, oh crap. Don't drown in the deep water, Link. Okay, let me pray first. Pray that I get some of that poo. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. Oh, I know you can, but I'm a little short. Uh, can I come back when I got like three more spirit orbs? Oh gosh, she's gonna call me out on that. Seek out the shrine scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed for or spirit orbs, return to me. So the good news is I don't have to actually try to. What was that? Oh, it's my boy just splashing paint. I thought I heard a magic card splashing. It was just an artist. Anyway. Okay. There we go. Updated. Oh crap! Should have. <laughs> I was too slow on the draw. Um, you did as Rola asked and lit the torches. Go to the general store and tell her that her that what she requested is done. Done already, girl? And that was too easy. You know I'm all in heat. Ah. Kid. <laughs> you don't have to call me kid. Oh yeah, I know I was amazing. Wait, what I shot Oh well, sorry. What a shot in the heart that was. Hey, I'll shoot you some other place. Mm. Oh gosh, she's married. Oh, wait, they're living apart. <laughs> My husband's a fine archer himself, but we're living apart right now. Oh, okay, that changes things. This feeling has been so, so long, girl. Oh, oh hell yeah. You wanna buy something else? <laughs> oh, sorry. I, that was really something special to see. In fact, here, a token of my thanks. What you giving me? A red ruby. Oh. Wait, she's... Technically, just gave me five arrows for free. Five fire arrows for free, but then again, I wasted four of them. If only my husband hadn't become upset. It was this lady! Oh, girl. Girl, I feel for you. Don't worry, I'ma come back and I'ma light that heart again. But seriously, get some more inventory, get some ice arrows. Where's Betsy? Betsy! Cuckoo! Oh, you're over here. And she's like, I hear you, but I don't give a fuck. Over here making out with that good other lady, and I'm like, dude, her husband hasn't come back in so long. Just trying to give her a little company. You know how it is. It's like I'm a horse. I don't. Wait, is that a, okay? Like I said, I always see pot lids everywhere. What the hell? This is supposed to be like a little place where people chill. 
Wait, are you trying to say you're hungry, Betsy? I mean, I was trying to feed you earlier. You wouldn't eat shit. You hungry, Betsy? All right, all right. Wait. Forward. There you go. Okay, that's an inn right there, so... I mean, I'm assuming it's an inn by the crescent moon there. Either that or it's the Sailor Moon's house. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 kid running, boo. Coco must cook. The parent got the kid cooking dinner? The, the hell kind of village is this? Yo, that ain't your kid, is it? Yeah. Broca. Yeah, it's her kid. Just listen to look at her name. Broke uh. Broke uh. And gems value lies in this beauty. I was just thinking about all the wonderful gems I've seen. How you gonna tell me you've seen some gems? Your name Broca. Then again. That attire you got on. Look kind of expensive, my girl. I didn't see none of that shit in the store. Where'd you get all that shit from? Do I need to call security? And I was thinking about the glee that I felt when I when I consider all the money one can sell a beautiful gem for. Like some sapphire? Sorry, you already sold mine. <laughs> Not to brag, but I just made a few sales and I'm feeling full of glee at the moment. And that's all you're gonna say? Is that really her son? Oh, she's going to go to the inn. Huh. Alright. I'm wasting time. Hey, Lysla. Okay. Uh. Now, you're a clothes shop. So, well, you know what? Let's go shopping. Wait, I don't have that much money. Oh, well. Whoa. Our clothes are the tops. Whoa. This lady looks eager. I don't know if she's trying to sell me something or just checking out the goods. Clary, welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. The fact that you showed up out of nowhere and stark naked, no less, means you're likely a total creep. Oh. But you still got this huge smile on your face for meeting a creep. Are you into that kind of thing? Are you into that kind of thing? But that's no business of mine. Oh, well, there you go. Anywho, here we exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary collection. Dang, she's a real salesman or a saleswoman. I mean, she has not, either that or her face is stuck like that. I'm certain even someone like you who has given up on clothes <laughs> altogether. <laughs> will find something you like here. I am just getting dissed left and right. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. I mean, we can also buy anything you don't need, so talk to me when you're ready. All right, let me ask about the Claire Reed collection. Oh, she finally changed her face. She got serious as hell. The Claire Reed collection, as in a high-end collection of, cur of curated by me, Claire Reed. But of course. <laughs> oh, never mind. She went back to normal. I personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. It is highly recommended. Each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a look. Do you need something else? Go on, ask me anything. Alright, I will take a look at your collection. Let's just see what we got over here. Whoa. Isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition enchanted exclusive. 
while you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting stuff. Girl, you might just be my number one lady right now. But it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Eh, I can deal with that. I mean, psh, look at me. Think I need an extra defense? Stealth chest guard. Oh my god. Small price. My ass. This is... Hell, this is... Like, two thousand... Hold on. Thirteen. This is eighteen hundred. Dang, I ain't got that much money. Look what we got over here. Oh. Oh, this is tight. Oh, this is tight. 60. So that's 200. And aren't I wearing these already? I think I'm gonna get these and not simply for this the reason of getting more clothes but I will show you guys the real reason why but I need to sell some stuff first but I need to sell some stuff first just like how this girl is selling her face I mean man I do not know how you can smile like that but she is dedicated reminds me of rarity Okay, don't place a pin on her because you know this video will get flagged if you do that shit. Let me sell some stuff. Now, first of all, you check out this nice little set of gourmet meals I got. I mean, you know you haven't seen stuff like this. And I cooked all this out in the wilderness. So, wilderness. Though I don't want to sell any of my stamina stuff. That's off limits. Yeah. Sorry, had to spit. Um, but let's check some of the other stuff. Now, Hylian trousers. That's what I have already. Hylian trousers. Keys eyeballs. Wow. That might actually be a reason to kill more keys. Keys eyeballs are 20 rupees a pop. Alright. I'm actually surprised that she'll buy this. She doesn't look like that she'd be into this kind of thing. Okay. Obviously you cannot judge a book by its cover. I'll buy a lot from you, just wait and see! Holy crap, lady! Are you actually willing to buy these? Oh, okay. I wonder what kind of clothes she's gonna make with that stuff. How about anything that can be bought? Don't hold back, just sell, sell, sell. This is the number one business lady in the entire in the entire in all of High Rule. I mean, my boy Beetle got a competition. <laughs> Being stuck in this tiny town, I get pretty excited about stuff from the outside. Even that creepy ass shit? I'm always happy to take a look at what you've collected, so come back if you ever want to sell anything. Okay, girl. Just let me get your number on my eye slate. Alright, um... Let me go ahead and buy the 200... Wait. No, actually, it's 180. Oops. Oh, well. I have 20 rubies left. No, it costs just 60 rupees. What a steal! Never woven by traditional Hyrulean. 
methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun and weather. <laughs> Thanks, you've made a great purchase. Really? <laughs> That'll be 120 rupees. A real steal, isn't it? I'll take it. A common garb that achieved widespread popularity in Hyrule, particularly among travelers. Its light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. <laughs> I'll be sure to stock up for you. Oh, please do. And then I'll be ready to take your stock. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'll see you later, lady. But, as I wear this, I'm gonna look at, show you guys the real reason why I wanted to wear this. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm all ready for the occasion. Cause we out here. Hood Link representing. So let's take a venture out in the cold. Hey Betsy, you Betsy's gone. How you doing, Lastly? How are you doing? Okay, where did Betsy go? Alright. Wait, what are you looking for, my boy? Sir Link. Yeah? I me, mean, what up? My cuckoos. My precious cuckoos! <gasps> they haven't come home yet! I wonder if this is the husband. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support. This is the husband. Whoa, what do I do? <coughs> I'll find them and they'll come back. Uh, I don't know. If I help this guy, that might make him get back with... What was her name? Rallo? I think it was Rallo, right? Or was it Rado? I think it was Rallo. He might get back with his wife if I help him. Or actually, he might get back with his wife if I don't help him, because then they won't come back, and then he'll have no choice but to try to go back to his wife. Ugh, maybe I do have to find them. Keep him on that crutch. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Thank you so much. I have ten cuckoos in total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Q2 did inform me of a character that he likes named... What was it? Anju? But even Anju wasn't... Apparently Anju wasn't the real name of the lady. Angel was just a clone of the lady who actual name was um, Cuckoo Lady and now that I'm looking inside this guy's house I kind of see why she left. I mean god damn. Even Cuckoo Lady wasn't this obsessed. My boy got some arrows. I mean my, some bows not arrows. And I see he's got a place for the cuckoos to come in. Huh, it's too short for me. Okay. I probably should help him out. Betsy! Oh, she's over here. Okay, you can stay right there. I'm still gonna check for stable. This episode's gonna be long again. Unfortunately. Dang. Is all, the door is always closing on me. Um, what's this place? Huh. No clue. Just someone else's house, I guess. There's some cherry blossom trees, I see. So, hey, hey, he's gone. Don't worry, I'm just gonna bring you back to your master. I assume that all of the cuckoos that I've been seeing around here are his. Yeah! I mean, is this one? 
I didn't want to throw him in there. Even just one account of for one of you. Sadly, only four have returned to me. To think that somewhere out there, even one of my poor Kukos could be lost and lonely. Sorry, you bring them back to me. Well, oh, he did say four. I thought there were four already in there. So, I mean, before I put that one in. So, okay. And uh, here's somebody's pumpkin patch. Vulcan's pumpkin. Open from seven to five. And that's the torch that I saw earlier. What's this other area over here? The stress just melts away. What's it going? Oh, wait, are those guards? Oaken, no, this is Oaken. It's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. This dude over on the side, I'm oh, sorry. This dude over here on the side is eyeballing the fuck out of me. He's like, look at this. Suspicious looking, hood wearing, girl grabbing son of a bitch over here. Whoa, whoa, my boy, what? 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 You are a part of the Yika clan, are you? Don't know what that is, my boy. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. You look so serious, I couldn't help but goad you a bit. Recall those who swear allegiance to the Clement again in the Yiga clan. Oh. You know, I slaughtered a good number of them. Hmm. They, well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. Well, they must really hate me then. It seems they're active again. Ever since that big earthquake the other day. Oops. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. But don't worry. I don't think you're a part of that awful Yiga clan. Yeah, I mean, I don't look like a big ass pig, do I? I can't figure that much out just by looking at I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Please don't hold the gifts against me here. Take this in exchange. Oh, got a fortified pumpkin. An extremely tough pumpkin breach in the village feels when cooked that toughness manifests itself by considerably upping the fence. <laughs> fortified pumpkins are Kakariko's village specialty. I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They're delicious! If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. Okay, cool. Now, that would happen. Ah, okay, sorry about that. I, mean, I had to fix some technical difficulties, but um, as I was trying to do that, Melee over here is trying to get away from me. It got quite dark. It got dark quick today, didn't it? Young one, you should, you should know the roads are dangerous at night. Be careful. All right, Melee. See you eyeballing me again. I'll show you how dangerous the streets can really get. Scratch. Okay, I don't think I see. Ah, don't worry, my boy. I'm just gonna take you back home. I'm not seeing any stables around here. I could have sworn there was supposed to be another stable around here, but I suppose that's just my fault. So I'll head back out to the stable that I assume I know where it is. Hey! Hey, girl! Um, let's see, okay. Oh, five for those who are still there. And you're gonna increase your number to five. Mm. Only five have returned. Okay, cool. I'll get them. Didn't I see a cuckoo all the way at the top? Wait. Okay, I thought I saw a, saw a different area just then. All right. Well, actually, it wouldn't matter because I had to carry the cuckoo back down. But I thought I saw cuckoo like way up here, or not? Oh, there it is. Hey, what you doing all the way out here?
Uh, here we go. Uh, drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Only six. All right, so I gotta, gotta find four more. Um, probably one over here. Oh, uh, I missed a beetle. There ain't one over here. I think there was one by the entrance, wasn't there? I'm gonna go back because I don't know if leaving the village will would reset the count. It might. Did I see one over there? Underneath the Impus house? I don't think I did. That boy's still over there fighting that nobody. I think I saw one over at the entrance that I came from. <laughs> Right? Did I not see a chicken over here? Maybe it was a stork or whatever those birds are. I should just call them long leg birds. Wait. This looks breakable. Has. Huh. Sorry, I was trying to think of the line. I see these guys like it rough. Topaz! This precious yellow gem contains the power of electricity that has been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. All right. Mm, I see you guys like to play rough. That was the Japanese version. The American version, I can't really remember what they said. Oh, right, she just called her an old lady. That's what it was. In the original Japanese version, then Rouge got them handcuffs and she said, Ooh, you guys like to play rough. There's four more, but I have no idea. Oh, that's just a bug. I have no idea where they are. This is gonna take a while. Uh, the things I do for love, and by love I mean sex. Melee's Plum Garden. No trespassing. <laughs> she. That was a girl that was eyeing or a person that was eyeing me. Got me crazy. Got me messed up. What's that right there? Can I pick it up? On? Nope. Okay. I'll just come back for it. Okay, right over here. Nope. Oh. Huh? Say that again. This. Oh, hit it. I didn't notice this error message. I'm probably gonna sit here and try different um, green screen colors because I actually don't know if purple goes well with the background while I'm wearing this hood. I mean, if if it messed up then I probably won't show my face and if that's the case I'm explaining to it now explaining to you guys now why I didn't show my face during parts of the video yellow should work I think don't quote me on that but I think yellow should work Anyway, 
Um, yeah, this is the guy. I guess they, uh, switch from security, because I was expecting him to be out here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, there should be seven, right? Okay, the seven one's over there. So, three more. Oh, let me get, oh, I see one, but let me get that iron shroom. Yeah, I did see you over here in front of the shrine. Yeah, I know, you always bragging about you being up past your bedtime. Thinks he's a Powerpuff girl. But they would love to be up past their bedtime. And I think one time they were up uh, past their bedtime. But this was the newer version of the Powerpuff Girls, which nobody likes. Except me, apparently. But that's another story. Uh, that. Oh, hey, this randomly found you. Alright, so there's one more after this. Yeah, you should head home. Okay. So there's one more somewhere. I already checked it there. Was it over here at this other exit? I wonder why the music is fading out. Oh, just a tree branch. I don't know what that is down there. Eh, why not? Traveler's sword. Not worth it. Not worth it. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, great, it's raining though. I was gonna climb up a little further, but it is raining. It's gonna be a little harder. Oh, hey, Nana. Since you've been yet to get that Sheikah Slate function, I'm certain my mentor could help you. Oh, okay. You're talking about Yumba. Oh. Oh, you're talking about the other lady. Okay. I won't be going there first. I mean, you know, after I get to the stable. But, ugh, I gotta find these cuckoos so my man can stay away from my woman. I know that doesn't make much sense. Outside of the context. But don't worry. Looks like rain today. Ah, the life of the rain of life. Like the live stream from Final Fantasy VII? Oh, well. all the way up to the exit, did I? Well, the rain can't stop me. My boy's steaming over here. I think he like Princess Peach when she said dehydration isn't gonna stop me. Oh. oh. It's that guy. What we've got growing over here is none other than the pride of Kakariko Village. Swift carrots. I thought the pumpkins were the pride of Kakariko Village. They were as pretty as a pitcher and have a flavor to savor. Raised with love and sweat, a true recipe savior. My boy got bars over here. Is it because he's black? I mean, let's be real. Mm -hmm. Now you might run into a hard-headed old cogger rambling on about Kakariko being known for its pumpkins. Ha! Ah, I see. Got a little competition around here. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty sure eating all those pathetic pumpkins is what made his head so hard in the first place. An old cogger. Wow. But I know who you're talking about. Sort of. I mean, I probably forgot him already. So I'll ask you about Sweet carrots fortify and nourish your body. 
add them to your cooking and they and their effects will increase. For one, throw in some swift curse to any dish you're looking to make into a hasty dish. Eat it up to your speed. You want to be the man, don't you? Man, I already am the man. Everybody around here knows that. This is the Kakariko village. Of course you do. That means you'll need the strength to move fast. It's already this late. I should finish up for today. Yeah, you actually should go inside. Oh. If you curious, you can buy some of her at my old lady's shop. You want to be strong like that legendary swordsman? Come to my place when the day is done. I don't need to be strong like that legendary swordsman. I am that legendary swordsman. I can't people recognize. I'm Link. I'm out here. Doing all of your work. I saw something shining over here. Oh, it's underneath the... It's just an apple. Huh. I wonder how that got lodged into that specific area. Okay, like I said before, I don't think I really checked the exit, did I? Yeah, because I ran over here and I got distracted by something, I think. But either way, I still don't... Okay, I think it's safe to actually run a little further out. But... I still don't think I see any rooster, cuckoo, or anything to that effect. This is gonna be a while. Hopefully they didn't respawn all over the place. Okay, finally stopped raining. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to remember how to... Okay, I just wanted to get a bird's eye view, no pun intended, of the area. And yeah, maybe I can spot the little rooster. That last one is always a bitch to find. There's something over there, but that's probably just a person. Because I'm pretty sure I was over there already. Oh, there it is, right there. No wonder, I would have never found it if I didn't come up here. Come on, Link. You can stand up on the... There we go. I'd have never found it if I didn't come up here. Oh, crap. The wind. The wind is actually blowing against me. Okay. Stay right there, little guy. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Don't want to drop you, though. Sorry, I'm trying to get there we go. I'm out here thumbnail hunting. Alright, this should do. The question is how do I get down here without dying? A rooster root crying off the top of his lungs. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Okay, okay. Come on down. You didn't have to land on my head. Well, that worked out. Not perfectly. Hey, girl! Flown the coop. Okay, hit that. Kato's beloved cuckoos made it over the fence and escaped. It took a thorough search of the village, but you found them all. Hurry and let Kato know so he can breathe easier. Okay. Now, hopefully, he will divorce his wife. And we can get that cuckoo all to myself. Ooh. Recently, the Yiga clan has been acting suspiciously. It's our duty to protect Lady Yampa. But more importantly, Link, I can hear the sound of a cuckoo flapping its loose wings. Could it be? I could just straight up say your imagination? Man, I am a thug! 
But no, nah, we're gonna be real, cause we want Rello all to ourselves. Ooh, I knew it! That faint yet lovely flapping of wings, that musical clucking, ah, truly the epitome of joy. I am so eager to get back home. Oh, Link, I am so happy everyone is safe. Thank you so much. I'm afraid this isn't much, but please take it with my thanks. Oh, my boy, hook me up. 50 rupees. It's Vita Glow feels your heart with generosity. Didn't it feel his heart with generosity? Just saying. I'm ready to get out there again. Go, okay, you do that, my boy. Though I do wish my wife could would come back to me just like my cuckoos did. Yeah, I think I took care of that little relationship. You know, no big deal. Matter of fact, I'm gonna check on her again, but let me get Betsy first. Can't forget Betsy. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey, Lysla. Li Lysley. I was close that time. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Dorian's just stomping. Okay. Let's go, Betsy. Everything will be all right. Let's run this dude over. Okay, never mind. He actually walked out the way. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Literally, he probably does. Dorian, like you don't play around. Okay, I actually like tapped the back of the control stick twice, and it went right into a stop. So the first time slowed her down, and the second time stopped her. Hey girl, talk to your husband. Yeah. Something you wanna if there's something you want, just go ahead and grab it. Hmm. I like how you think. Hi well. Just wanted to see you one last time before I leave the village. Mm. Are you planning to leave already? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll definitely come back and see you again later. While you're here, let me give you a piece of advice. Okay. If you need money, go ahead and sell some ore. Any shop you find will buy it at a premium price. That's actually very useful knowledge, because I didn't know that ore was... No, wait. It's, that's not ore, I'm thinking it's op opal. Okay, never mind. But thanks for the advice anyway. Oh man, she actually looks disappointed. Well, not that disappointed. She looks alright. Well, that door stayed open for a long time. Alright, here we out. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Sorry, Betsy. Actually, let's check the map. Make sure that we know where we're going. That's the shrine. That's the stable. I'm going to traverse all the way to here. All right, let me mark it. I can't mark it. I can stamp the Kukuriko village, but I can't stamp this place. Can I stamp next to it? I can stamp next to it, but I can't stamp the actual location. All right. Green. Okay, so that's where we're going. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she must not really like me. I was telling her to go faster, but she didn't want to. It'll be all right. I'm taking you to the stable. There, you can get all the apples you can need. Meeting all the friends. Boy, if you don't watch out. Alright, we might have some enemies, so... Uh, get on your guard, Betsy. Get your guard up, Betsy. I know there are enemies out here. Like this mofo! Run his ass over, Betsy! Get him! Get him! 
Yes! Oh yeah, we're going back for that. Let's go, Betsy. We're going back for that reward. Can I pick it up without actually getting off? No? Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Betsy. Here, let me pat you. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> these guys running, they're like, holy crap, did she, like, run over that goat? That's right. Because she is my partner. Oh yeah, Betsy. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Did that? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Uh... The way that looked, I thought that the long-legged bird flew off and I thought like a piece of shit just fell out as it flew away, but no, that was a bird hopping. I'll probably slow-mo that. Hmm. I want to see what this other creature is over here. It's like a rabbit. Oh no, it's another goat. Run it over. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Word got out. Word got out. Die. Uh oh. Run, Bessie. Run. Ooh, that was close. Horses don't like rocks. I mean, I watch a lot of Man Tracker. So take it easy, Betsy. I take care of my horses. Just like how I take care of my women. Another goat. I'm gonna let you live because I got more important things to do. <laughs> like three women back in the Kakariko village. Eh? Huh? Okay. <sighs> the Egus Bridge. Kinda wish there was some. Whoa, whoa. Man, you just came out of nowhere. I don't know what you said, but I was more concerned about not running into you and falling off the bridge. Okay. Huh. It's a tall looking structure over there. Just follow the road. Alright, let's go a little faster. Okay, not that fast, but it, it's cool. Okay, somebody else is crossing another bridge. What's going on? Oh. Oh, don't worry. I got you. I got you. Ugh! Wait, what? Hold on. Show this pump. Betsy. Be no, no. Betsy! Betsy! That's my fault. That's my fault. Sorry about that, Betsy. Sorry. Didn't mean to guide you off the bridge like that. That, that was totally my bad. Hey, you all right, baby girl? Oh wait, it's okay. There we go. You all right, baby girl? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, baby girl. Hey, if you know, if you want to ride, I mean an actual ride. No, 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 no! Do not run her over, Betsy. Don't get jealous. Hey, I'm trying to talk to her. It won't let me talk to her. Come on. There we go. I like watching the river flow by. Is that such a crime? 
Seeing the water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the great calamity really happened. Uh. Monsters attack out of nowhere, and I think, all oh, right, time to head back to the stables. You so you're going to the stables too, so you should hitch a ride. Ugh, whatever. Her name is Lika. Huh. You sure you don't want to ride, Lika? Huh. Lika, girl. You sure you don't want to ride? I'm actually heading in the same direction. Mm. Typical, just typical. Have to day out. I try to have a day out just watching the river go by and uh, now I'm going back to the stable. We are going in the same direction. We're going to the same place. I will give you a ride and I'm not being like sexual about that. I will actually... I try. But um, at least we're heading in the right direction. We're almost there, matter of fact. Well, you know what? I'll walk with you, because... Is that Beetle? Well, I don't really have much money, but I can probably trade with him. Hey, Beetle. Come one, come all. Like me? Hey! Hey, how you feeling today? Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You'd get something in return, of course. How about I give you this mighty elixir? Sure, go ahead, my boy. Thank you. Yeah! Thank you so much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. No, dude, you're the awesome one. I'm just saying. I will cherish this view you have given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Actually, you know, I'm actually going back to the stable, my boy. Yeah, I know, but I'll see you around. Hmm. I'm gonna escort this girl. Oh, the stable's just right there, though. Definitely good to get a horse, because, man, this would have taken several hours of you guys' time. Alright. I feel less anxious with you around. Thanks. No problem. Here 100 years ago, there weren't so many monsters. Lady could actually go for a walk alone if she wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, things were safer. I can't even picture it now. Oh, that's kind of messed up. All right, so I am here. Now I just need to f figure out how to register a horse. Where you, Betsy, where are you going? This way. Hey, my boy. Yeah. yeah, welcome to my stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it in our network of stables. Now then, what can I do for you? You can't see that I'm actually riding a horse? Boy. What's your IQ level? I'm saying. Gotcha! Oh. Oh, my bond is at max? Really? You sure this is the one? Not a problem. We charge a registration fee to... Wait. It's not gonna be like a monthly fee, is it? Charge a registration fee to help support our conser conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, my boy. Oh. Thanks. Please enter a name for your horse. Betsy. Already. And shift. Oh, I had to hit. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, maybe it should be like Betsy. Nah, uh, uh, Betsy. Mm. 
Uh, are you sure you want to name this horse Betsy? Yes. Oh well, not my problem. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Uh... I may as well. But no. I mean, it's not like I don't want to, like, just run around with her. But I'm gonna walk around for a bit, just on my own, my lonesome, just to get that experience. Ooh. Besides, she deserves the rest. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Mm. Oh, and by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can wish it and it will come and running. Yeah, I tried that before, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, I'm quite aware of how to whistle. But your horse isn't magic. They can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Horses actually do have really good hearing. So I'd have to be like way far away for her not to hear me. Okay. Are you doing alright, Lika? You're actually really cute, Lika. Oh well. Get inside. The girls are all wet. And I'm not talking about it in like a sexual way. Alright, um and the cuisine. I actually, my boy just walked over here. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her one more time. Okay. I just want to make sure that um, nothing else triggers, or nothing else is supposed to trigger. See an axe. I'm not taking other people's stuff though, unless if it's enemies. Then that's just the the spoils of war when I take it from enemies. Some cuckoo over here. Need some ghosts, but they're not assholes like them ghosts in the wild. I probably should go ahead and get some sleep. So what's my rupee looking like? Oh, I don't have much money left. Is that Betsy in here? Oh well. It's over here. Oh, there's not a pot lid. Okay. Um. I'm actually going to spend some time and get another. No, 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 no. Screw that. If anything, I kind of want to spend some time and like stock up some rupees so I can get that, that stealth suit. I'd almost rather have that. Huh. Oh well. Hey, it's my boy Beetle. He finally made it. Here, let me help you out. Give you a little push. Okay. That's okay. So, like I said before, we're gonna start uh, looking for. Um, looking for other shrines. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Holy crap. Oh, wait. No, those are the... Oh, hold on. I thought my map got marked. I thought they marked the other races on my map. Little guards gear, watch out for flowers, seek out Impa. Oh wait, do I have to set it and how the other races were marked on the map? Did I miss that? That's Royal Guard's gear. Flown the coop, seek out Impa, which I did. Watch out for the flowers. 
from the coop areas are burning heat. Huh. Well, now I don't know where they're marked. Now I don't know where the... Where they are, or where the races are. Oh, is there actually more? It looks like there's actually more to Hyrule down here. So this isn't even the whole world. Holy crap. All right. Uh, let me check. Ooh, I had no idea I was that overdue. Uh, I have to make that a whole nother video. But first, let me go ahead and like do this because I the place I want to look for next is um well, the place that I want to tra traverse next is the desert luring fish. Plus ingredients that serve as bait near the fish or water will attract them. Oh, that's useful knowledge. Oh, tip, multiple. Enemy camp has multiple levels. Each packed with monsters. Consider using the paraglider to sneak your way to the top. Huh. Well, that would be nice, but those types of camps usually are the tallest things around. I mean, I would have to get up way high. Okay. So, this outfit isn't quite suited for the cold. That's fine. Okay. I am turned around. I want to go in this direction. I even see a shrine down there. Anyway, that's going to be where I'm planning on heading to next. So. That's where I'm going to be planning to go to next, because I want to test and see how linear this game really is. I know you guys probably want me to play a certain way like every other YouTuber out there, but we're trying to, out, we're trying to be unique out here. We're trying to be different. You don't want to be the same as everybody else, do you? That's why Q2 keeps trying to do his little mocap thing. I'm not sure how good it's going, but anyway. So this has been your homeboy, Hood Link. Representing, getting paid, and getting laid. Anyway, um, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, you know, hook your boy up with a like, or hook your boy up with a share. You can put the comments down at the bottom, and uh, subscribe to your boy Q2. I mean, even if he's not your boy, I mean, he tries, and gives me that spotlight you all love, I know. But anyway, it's your boy Hope Hood Link saying thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. So in the meantime, good night. Peace.